Hello guys and welcome back to another one with us, the Review Bros. And today, finally, we're going to get into some good pre-workout reviews. If you've been watching along, I've covered a lot of budget, boring, crappy ones. So we're back onto some good stuff, not to spoil too much just yet. But we've got today, Newphoric pre-workout by the guys over at The Formula. This is the newest iteration of their Limitless pre-workout. The last one was Limitless V2. It's now coming in a new name and a new formula. So we're gonna be covering all the usuals. Taste, price, label effects, all coming at you, and it will hopefully help you decide if it's worth picking up or not. And all we ask in return is please do like the video, hit the subscription button and the bell icon if you do happen to enjoy our videos. Other than that, sit tight, get your popcorn out, and let's get into this one. We're into Taste of Mixability, the number one segment, AKA the first segment. And we're gonna be trying out raspberry lemonade flavor. And I've also been given a personal guarantee that a crispy red apple flavor will be dropping next month in November. So stay tuned for that one. You know, maybe that will tickle your pickle more than this one, but let's give this one a go for the sake of today's review, obviously. 24 grams have gone in. Mixability, you ask? Mixability, I tell. It's, it's a bigger than average serving amount. So with that comes worse than average mixability, pretty much standard. So yeah, is there are some bits set with the bottom, but generally as you drink, it will go and it won't be an issue. Very rarely is. So anyway, let's see how it actually tastes. Is it gonna taste like raspberry lemonade? Let's find out. And I concur that it does. It's a nice sweet flavor. The only downside to it is it is quite chalky, but that is to do with the ingredients that are in it, which we'll come on to in the in a couple of segments time, so stay tuned for that. So the flavor's really good, the mixability and the consistency is a, is a little bit subpar, but like I say, that is to come to be expected with the label, and it's one of those things that you just take on the chin, like I'd rather suffer a little bit of mixability issues and a bit of chalkiness f to have superior effects at the end of the day, and I'm sure most of you guys would as well. Flavor-wise, one more sip and I'll give you a score. It's good. So. If I'm factoring in everything, I'd give it a seven and a half out of 10. If I'm to disregard the mixability and the chalkiness, I'd be inclined to give it more like an eight and a half. So I guess you could say eight out of 10 as an average. So yeah, the flavor, definitely not bad. And that, that new one that's coming out soon sounds rather delicious. So if you're lucky enough to get hold of that one, drop in the comments what you think of it because I'll be quite jelly. Anyway, let's get on to price. Let's talk price, so how much will you be paying for Newphoric, the premium daily driver pre-workout formula? Well, you'll head over to theformula.shop where you can use our discount code RB10. You can pick up this 20, full 20 servings by the way, and it is a stacked pre-workout for 31 pounds 46 pennies. And when you divide that up by the 20 servings, it comes to one pound 57 per the serve. Now we've got a consistent price scale that measures how expensive pre-workouts are, where a five out of 10 on that scale is the bang average price point of a typical pre-workout price on the market today. This comes in at a 5.5 out of 10. So actually, all things considered, considering it is, at least on face value alone, a way better than average pre-workout, it's also priced a little bit better than the average price point of the market today. So it's looking like a pretty damn solid start. Let's get into label. Okay, label time, and I've not really studied it too much myself yet, so I'll sort of be going for it fresh with you guys for the first time. I only glanced at the fact it's 24 grams, obviously, to weigh it out. So 24 grams serving amount, definitely above average. First up, we've got L-citrulline at 10 grams, which is a mega whopping dose. You'd be hard pressed to find the pre-workout that's got more than that in it. I think we might have seen 11 grams once, but other than that, this is pretty damn well up there. So the, the dose that most people are, are pretty happy to take is anything from four grams, five, six grams, eight grams would be fantastic. So 10 grams is really maxing the ingredient out. You're gonna squeeze every benefit out of it at that dose. It's an amino acid and what it's responsible for is bumping up nitric oxide levels in the bloodstream 
increasing blood flow, widening your veins, getting you a pump on, nutrient delivery, endurance benefits, all that good stuff will come off the back of that, obviously. Then we've got glycosides, which is 65% glycerol, which is the reason the pre-workout tasted chalky. But like I say, we'll take that for the benefits that we'll get from glycerol, because we personally like the ingredient when it's dosed well. And it is dosed well here, because we've got it in, in here at four grams, which is a solid dose as pre-workout glycerol doses go. So yeah, that's um, gonna pull in water and moisture into the muscle cell, hyperhydrating you, which as a side effect is obviously gonna swell you up, give you added endurance in the gym and, and increase your blood flow and your pumps, which is what we're here for. Then we've got L-tyrosine at three grams, really nice dose, again, three times what you typically see. It's getting, I think at glance so far, it's one of those pre's that you can get away with doing half a scoop um, and you still get good effects. But anyway, so three grams of uh, the amino acid L-tyrosine will help with your focus and your mood. Love to see that. Then we've got nitrosagene, which is inositol stabilized arginine silica at the full dose of 1500 milligrams. Absolutely loving these dosages. What a breath of fresh air. Um, that's gonna work with the L-citrulline as if we needed any more help with that dose. That's gonna also help to increase blood flow, widening of the veins, getting you that juicy pump. It's another nitric oxide uh, booster. Then we move down to CDP choline at 850 milligrams, which is an incredibly good dose. You normally only see a few hundred milligrams of it. So that's, yeah, it's a choline donor. Alpha GPC is a good one as well, but that's starting to become a bit of a gray area ingredient because the UK is a bit of a joke where it concerns ingredients. So people are leaning more towards CDP choline, which is also a fantastic uh, version of a choline donor, better than uh, some of these other ones like choline potatrate, that's for sure because it does actually cross the blood-brain blood barrier. So 850 milligrams, hella good dose. That's gonna help with your, your focus, concentration, ultimately boosting your athletic performance because you deplete choline, choline levels heavily when you're training. So obviously giving yourself more before you train is only gonna be a beneficial thing. Then we've got caffeine and hydrous at 275 milligrams. I'm really liking that dose. Um, the typical dose in pre's is probably 300 to 350, so we're dipping a little bit below average here, but there is more coming up, so I won't speak too soon. That's a nice dose. It's uh, around about three cups of instant coffee, give or take, depending on how strong you like your coffee, uh, and a, coming onto a couple of energy drinks worth of caffeine. So that's um, the dehydrated version of caffeine. It's going to hit relatively quick, wake you up, get you moving. It's going to you know, basically get your brain, your brain fired up, which is exactly what we need from a pre. Then we've got L-theanine at 125 milligrams, which is um, another amino acid. It's a love it or hate it Marmite ingredient. The reason I say that is because it's used in sleep aids as a means of chilling you out, calming you down, getting you in a sleepy kind of mood. But it's put in pre-workouts because when it's paired with stimulants, namely caffeine, it has a lot of focus benefits. And it's also been shown to calm down any sort of risk of jitters, uh, prolong your energy and focus levels through your gym session and after. Um, so yeah, we've always liked the ingredient. Like I say, some people don't like it. I think the, it depends for us, or for me at least, um, the dosage that it's in the pre-workout at in comparison to the stimulants. And I like the ratio they've gone for here. It's like a one to two ratio in terms of the L-theanine L -theanine versus the caffeine. So it shouldn't dampen the effects of the stimulants too heavily. So thumbs up. Uh, then we've got Infinergy, which is the caffeine malate at 100 milligrams. So we're going to be yielding 75 milligrams of caffeine from that. Topping the total caffeine intake up to 350 milligrams, which yes, now we're on the money in terms of the average dose of pre-workouts. So yeah, it's it's definitely a lot. You're, well, I say a lot. You get some pre's that get four, five, six, seven, eight hundred milligrams of caffeine. So relatively speaking, it's not if you compare it to some of these crazy pre's, but comparing it to normal pre-workouts and uh, energy drinks and things like that, it is a lot of caffeine. So yeah, that's gonna that's gonna serve as an anti-crash mechanism, similar to L-theanine in that regard, I suppose you could argue, but in a different way, it's gonna basically drip feed you that caffeine in the latter part of your session as the caffeine and hydrous starts to wear off, that's gonna come in and take its place to, like I say, counter any kind of like crash or, or uh, come down that you may or may not get. So we do like that. <clears throat> then we've got black pepper extract at 10 milligrams, solid dose there. You normally only see about five. That's gonna help the absorption of all of these ingredients and get them through you as quickly and efficiently as possible, get the most out of all of, all of what's in here. Then we wrap off with Hoopazine A at 400 micrograms, another really solid dose. You only see a couple hundred micrograms normally. That's, um, it's meant to help with your memory and learning capabilities, but it also helps with your overall focus and concentration, especially paired up with stimulants and other nootropics. So, yeah, I really like that label. That is absolutely stunning. Um, I don't even know what I'd do 
to, to improve it, to be honest with you. I think that's fantastic. Um, but obviously labels only take you so far, it comes down to the real world experience because that's what's going to determine whether people like a pre-workout or not. So yeah, absolutely fantastic label. Let's get into the real world effects. Okay, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this review, aka the effects section, aka the reason you'll want to buy the pre-workout. So, let's talk about it from the beginning. Obviously, you may or, not, may or may not have noticed, but there's no beta alanine in this one, which is going to come as a positive or a negative depending on whether you like it or not, simple as that. I personally do like beta alanine, but having said that, I do like to have the option of not having it. You know, not every day do I want to itch my eyes out. So, it's nice to have decent stacked pre-workouts on the market, that don't have that ingredient. So I wasn't, I personally wasn't disappointed, but I understand some people might want it, but it is just what it is. So with that being said, you don't get the itchy, tingly, uncomfortable type feeling. You just feel the caffeine stimulants and nootropics start to settle in after about the 20, 30 minute window mark. And then you just feel a, a sudden sort of, um, you just really realize that you're, you're firing all cylinders, you're good to go, everything's ticking over, clarity comes over you, it's go time. And like I say, 20, 30 minutes, you're ready to rock and you're feeling you're feeling everything the pre-workout's got to offer, at least starting to. So let's talk about the energy first. Caffeine's in there at 350 milligrams total, which we personally class as around about the cutoff as what we would class as a daily driver. Maybe 400 milligrams if you really wanna stretch it and push it, but 350 is probably the sweet spot. Um, because yeah, I don't think that many people want to be hooning much more than 350, 400 caffeine in a, in a single day really. Um, obviously it's person dependent, but myself, that's, that would be perfect for me and it is perfect for me. So the energy lasts a good two, maybe three hours. Um, it's a smooth, consistent, healthy feeling energy. That's very important. It's not, it doesn't hit you like a ton of bricks. Um, there's no crash peaks, troughs, jitters, nothing nasty attached to it, just a nice couple of hours of consistent, switched on energy. You feel the clarity, you feel energized and good to go, simple as that. That leads me nicely into the focus element of this pre-workout, which you could argue as possibly the best feature, but it's a tough one, because the next thing I'm gonna talk about does give it a good run for its money. But anyway, the focus, yep, you definitely feel it, you feel tunneled in, you feel productive, you feel a definite mood in increase on this product. Yeah, it's basically the best focus you're gonna get in a daily driver without dipping your toes into the realms of illicits. So yeah, it's simple as that. You just feel a nice switched on, healthy, on the ball, productive, energized, motivated feeling. Simple as that. So the focus is absolutely solid. Definitely, Definitely more potent than the energy, but then again, that comes to be expected with daily drivers, doesn't it? It's kind of a giveaway in the name. We don't want to be taking ultra high energy pre-workouts as a daily driver. So with that being said, obviously energy is the least um, potent factor of the pre-workout. Then I'd say the focus is next. And like I say, battling with those pumps, which is the next thing I'm going to talk about. I think the pumps do slightly edge out the focus in terms of what comes through most potently from this product. And is it, does it leave any room for questioning that when we see the label? Obviously, I'm not gonna go through it again. You've just seen it. It's absolutely packed to the rafters when it concerns pumps. It would give a lot of non-stims a good old run for their money. Um, and I mean, when I say non-stims, I mean genuinely pump-focused pre-workouts that are full sending it for pumps. And this, this is just one of the, the various things that, it, that this pre-workout offers. Obviously focus and energy and endurance along with those pumps. The pumps were absolutely juicy. You definitely feel pumped after the first set or two. I've done shoulders today. You know, I don't know if the pumps do it. It's been a couple of hours since I finished the session. But yeah, the pumps are definitely up there with some of the best I've had from a, from a, a stimulant pre-workout, aka a pre that's not absolutely specifically trying to get you pumped alone. The pumps, yeah, I would honestly say they're very much top tier. You get the nice contractional, veiny, vascular pump, but you also get that sort of filled out Michelin man look, which you can attribute to the glycerol. So yeah, I don't even know, like I said, I don't even know what I would say to, to improve this pre-workout. I really do think they've done a fantastic job. Um, you know, you could say, oh, I wish it had beta alanine, 
you know, I understand that, but like I touched on, for me, it wasn't an issue. You could, you know, I'd love to see maybe some betaine in there, a couple of grams, um, just off the cuff. But really, that's really nitpicking. I think it's absolutely, it is what it says on the tin. It's a premium daily driver pre-workout. It says enhanced blood flow, intense focus, peak performance. I agree with all those statements. Um, yeah, no negatives from this pre, like I've already sort of alluded to. So it's very predictable, consistent, healthy. I'd recommend it to people that train bodybuilding style that are after hypertrophy and pumps and delivering nutrients to the muscle cell and just getting a really good session without any negatives. You know, you're not gonna be missing your meals because you're overstimulated or messing up your sleep too much, you know, person dependent. I still wouldn't take it too late at night. I would maybe cut it off about six hours before bedtime at the full serving. Which leads me nicely onto my next point. I think if you was to pick up this pre-workout and you're a beginner, you could easily take this at half a serving and it would smash a lot of beginner style pre-workouts out of the water. So whether you're an elite athlete, buy it and full scoop it. If you're a beginner, buy it and half scoop it. Which leads me nicely into my final point, I would say go out and buy it. I wouldn't say avoid it, I wouldn't say shortlist it. I would say if you're in the market for a daily driver, packed out pre-workout that covers all elements, whether you're a beginner or an elite level athlete that does more, like I say, bodybuilding style training, it's an obvious purchase for me personally. I would be happy to take it pretty much every session, to be honest with you. So yeah, guys, that does wrap it up. I think they've smashed it out of the park with this one. Really excited to see what else they come out with. If I remember correctly, I believe they're doing a non-stim next month. So yeah, stay tuned. It's, it's looking good for these guys. Um, it seems to me like they have a bright future. So do give them your support, check it out. Um, you will not regret it. And that's all from me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you do happen to use it, let me know your thoughts down below. Anything else you want to see us review on the channel, let me know down below as well. And as always, stay stimmed and pumped and focused. <laughs>